Hey, how's it going, guys? This is Eli. I'm going to be going over WGU's IT management degree, um, which I completed about a week ago. Just a brief introduction about myself. Uh, before starting the program, I had completed a coding boot camp and I had done a WordPress internship. And before that, I was in the military. Um, first of the video is I'm going to be going over some practical insights, um, realistic overview about how long it would take you to complete the degree and just general knowledge about the WGU IT management degree. A realistic expectations um, to actually complete these courses in my opinion, at least the first half, like the gen ed classes, something like uh, intro to sociology, history of the United States. If you, on each course, there's going to be a link to, um, that has all the outside study knowledge, like you're going to have the normal course they can go through. That would be like, if you're actually taking a, the degree in like an actual class. And you can go this through go through the courses normally this way. But I would highly recommend there's a link that has all the information, all the study links, and they have a practice quiz, quiz modules, and practice uh or a quiz a link to a quizlet with all the information about the class. And I would study through the, the quizlet and the quiz modules and those you can go through the if you can study those two things for a few hours every day during throughout the week you can pretty quickly get through the quiz practice assessment and the quiz or not the quiz but the actual practice assessment and through the objective assessment assessments pretty quickly because i honestly wasn't studying as much as I should have and I was getting through the courses pretty quickly. I got done half half the degree kind of like half assing the studying. And I wouldn't even consider myself that smart just by going through the quizlets and studying them. And just studying it studying the quizlets over and over and then taking the test right after. And I was able to get through some of these courses like maybe like a history like a course like this, if it's like a gen ed within like a week. Sometimes I'm able to get done two courses within the, within a week. And like in a normal, like if you're going to like community college or like at a university, that's like a, what, like a three month course. Cause I had been going through community college, which I ended up dropping out of and it's much, much more tedious. So I would honestly, just because of the time I would just highly recommend WGU because of the time investment. Um, so realistic expectations, um, being self motivated, just like treating it like the gym, it's like just waking up maybe like two hours. If you have work or something, waking up two hours before work and studying two hours, even that would be enough to get a degree like uh, IT management to get through a lot if you're studying the quizlets and the quiz modules. Um, I would recommend if you're trying to accelerate, try to study at least 20 hours a week. I was doing less than that and I was getting through pretty quickly doing this, the studying the quiz modules and the quizlets. Um, practical study strategies, I would say, yeah, daily, daily scheduling and consistent study hours, maybe two hours in the morning before work or two hours after work every, maybe like five days a week. So 20 hours, how much would that be? Two hours a day or five days a week? Uh, what is that, 10 hours? Or maybe near like four hours a day. So 20 hours a week. Um, practical study strategies. The main thing would be outside of the actual uh, WG would be in the Quizlets, which they're linked in the thing, which honestly helped a lot for like the first half. So the Quizlets are probably, if you don't want to click the link, which I would just use the link that's on the website, the site of the Quizlets, you can also go on Reddit 
and um, yeah, go on Reddit and look up specific courses like copy and paste this. And then go on Reddit and look up people who would recommend study strategies, which I would, which is what I would also do. Um, skills you actually learn throughout the course. Here, it's a, it's a degree is going to be mostly like 70% business and then 30% like IT. See if I can find some of the IT classes, information systems management. Um, like these courses right here are actually the three certs, like the CompTIA, networking, data management. I don't remember the specific certs. They don't, you don't actually get any certs from this degree, but these classes are basically what you would learn if you're doing um, the certs. And I would, if you're trying to get into IT, I would probably I would recommend the IT degree specifically for like this getting the certs. But if you're trying to like uh, accelerate and get a degree as quickly as possible, which is what I was wanting to do. And then since I have the GIBO, just go and do another um, degree and get the certs that way. But if you're trying to get a degree as quickly as possible, so you can have that like on your resume, I would um, recommend this because you can accelerate through this degree very quickly. Compare it to if you're doing like a normal um, IT degree or um, networking or cybersecurity at WGU, because the cert the cert classes are much more difficult to like if you're taking like the actual cert, it's much more difficult to complete compared to a normal WGU um, class. Um, any courses that felt outdated or repetitive. Um, Nothing felt outdated or repetitive specifically. Most of the classes are just business classes, honestly. If you're trying to, for the IT management, if you're trying to learn IT technical skills, I would do the IT degree, like instead, like te techno information technology degrees instead from WGU, which you go over this, you actually get the certs. Um, this is more of just like a business. And they and with like a couple over general overview of IT without going too specific in the technical stuff. So if you're already working in IT and you just need a degree, I would probably choose this one over like uh, another one, another the IT one of the IT degrees. Um, skills you learn, uh, financial tips and costs. The tuition is very another uh, pro of this going through WGU's IT. Um, it's it's a flat tuition of like thirty eight hundred. I think it was thirty eight hundred for me for the IT management degree, and the degree took about uh, six a year and a half. So a year and a half for a whole bachelor's degree. And it costs, well, I was using the GI Bill, but if I wasn't using a GI Bill, it would have cost me $12,000, which compared to a normal bachelor's degree, which would be like 30000 maybe 40000 in four years, so maybe five years, which, so that's a very good pro. Um, and completing the courses, honestly, the, for most, most of the Gen Ed courses, if you're studying the Quizlets and the quiz modules from the link, you can get through like half the degree pretty quickly. And then once you start getting into the more specific business and math and IT, it would probably slow you down a little bit. You can, but you can still pretty quickly get through this, these courses. Um, applying for scholarships or using a re tuition reimbursement. I didn't use any scholarships. I mean, I was like a normal, I got like normal grades in school and I really didn't do anything extracurricular. So I didn't get any um, scholarships for my degree. Just to, I just used the GI Bill and I was able to pay for, I was able to pay for everything. Um, see what else, sec, uh, how employers view the, the degree. It's a normal degree, so, which is accredited. So it's not like it's a fake degree and you can't get a job, it's like, if you apply for a job and they're gonna see an IT manager degree, it's gonna be a legit degree that took you a lot sooner than if you had been taking like, I don't know, going to like community college and then like a normal brick and mortar school. Um, 
the benefits comparing it to uh internships and hands-on projects um i did get it uh an internship near when i was just starting off the the school so but i was after cleaning my completing my coding boot camp so but it since this is this degree is very flexible you can just do the courses whenever you want you could be working like a normal nine to five and like working at an internship and be completing this which is very good um the best and the worst of the degree i would say these these courses are probably the best <laughs> since it's the only it classes and maybe there's another yeah another it class here like these things they te basically teach you like the comptia the networking and data management um certs but you just don't get the certs so um yeah but if you're trying to get the certs i would probably do the the it or the other degree it specific degrees at wgu um i would just really if your goal is it i would probably either do this degree and then get the certs afterwards so you can accelerate and get a degree or do um the it specific wgu um degrees the most useful and challenging courses would probably be the math since I had then hadn't done any math classes for years and then had to restudy and then probably the accounting or is that the accounting degree or the accounting classes here, which took a little while too. Economics too. But most of these classes I was pretty I was getting through these classes pretty quickly. Um, the ideal student has to be self -driv self driven and self motivated, because there's nobody that's gonna be pushing you throughout this course. Um, you said maybe your mentor who's gonna be, well, they email you once a month or call you once a month, and you could just easily blow them off. So, you would have to be self disciplined. So if you're like smoking weed or like messing around, or you're just not if you're not disciplined enough to be doing these courses on your own, it probably is not the degree for you. But honestly, even if, if you're not disciplined to go to a brick and mortar, which requires going to like driving to his class, I just feel like this degree is way much more manageable because I haven't gone to a community college in person. And then I ended up dropping out, but I was able to complete this much more easily so that's a good benefit um people but it, it'll be a con to be also the the struggle of not having a structure and just regular motivation so it's kind of a pro and a con um just a quick summary um is it worth it uh yes definitely worth the definitely worth the um the degree I mean, I'm going back using the GI Bill for um to get the certs, but still getting a degree in uh, what eighteen months is very definitely a good a big pro. Um, what else took me a year and a half? So like half of the see January to June, I got most of these courses done, half of the degree. Um, and then here another like quarter, another quarter. So what else, based on my, what else do I have summarized? I mean, that's basically gonna be it for the degree. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should say. I mean, that's probably gonna be it. So yeah, I would definitely recommend WGU's IT manager degree. Um, yeah, that's, I think that's it. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.